Fine. <laughs> <laughs> what are what we? is up, guys? <laughs> Welcome, YouTube. Oh my God, we have video. We I'm look, live. we look terrible though. Um, it's just the lighting. It's the lighting is terrible, and you know, you guys probably didn't fucking believe us in the other episodes, <laughs> but now you can visually see it. So, uh, you know, it's like hospital lighting it's hospital you can't see how tiny this room is we don't even want to give you a tour <laughs> we're like <laughs> punched in the corner here it's, just like, um, this, just it's super this. weird it's super weird because now they can see everything but also now i don't know who to look at you yeah the camera we don't know who we're looking at i don't so. know if i should look at i don't know where i'm looking at the screen i'm looking at you it's, this is it's weird. first film crawl video podcast uh, and we got a good movie to talk about. Great one. And yeah. Um, yeah, it's super weird. So bear with us as we figure out what the hell we're doing. I'm now you also know. Life, you so. also know how we have to hunch because we don't have um, mic mic arms to Sponsor to attach <laughs> <laughs> to attach to the table. So I if I was up here, oh my god, I feel, my back is beautiful. You know, I feel good. Voice is clear. Um, but here I am. Like, look, who, who designed these? This looks. This um, is a great look, though. Yeah, like when it's up like this. We'll we're take them out later. We'll, we'll take, take them out, out after yeah. we pop these beers. We'll be good. Um, but you know, welcome guys to the show. We are going to be um, talking about. Uh, oh my What's god! Up? I literally <laughs> almost said film crawl. We're gonna be talking about film crawl. Uh, no, we're gonna be talking about Once Upon a Time by Quentin Tarantino. Um, I am Sam, and that is Nicole over there. Hey guys! And we have no guests, so cool. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, because Carol didn't book anybody. But we do like this. I, yes. I mean, it looks dirty. So we just need to, you know, do the whole room like that. This isn't our studio, by the way. So if you are watching on YouTube, it is um, Changing Hands Bookstore in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, It's also First Draft Bar. There's a bar in this bookstore. Who owns this, though? Changing Hands. Changing Hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're all kind of They own, yeah. Um, People so, are gonna look back on this video and go, "Whoa, <laughs> they're fucking poor." We're gonna no, get our not. Miami. This is a house. nice room. It is a nice room. It, no, it is. Uh, it is. It's just not the best for our lighting for the camera. I also don't have the best camera. So, but we're trying to do things to get everyone, you know, elevate it, elevate the pod, get it on YouTube. Um, if you guys have already listened to the audio versions, you know, awesome. If yeah. you want to watch them now, you have that ability. Uh, so it's just all around better for us this you know what this kind of feels more natural yeah than filmed it's so weird you gotta you gotta have your a game on i know shit you gotta, we you do gotta have some housekeeping but i really am thirsty we were fucking sweating oh, trying true. to get we all this stuff set up this whole time. i was moving the camera around <laughs> it was a pain in the ass so um let's go ahead and pop these you guys get to see they're not fake not fake i did one-handed i kind of did um what are we drinking guys you can see it now. Yeah. So maybe we shouldn't tell you. Just kidding, because people listen. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's a delirium red, a Belgian ale with cherry and elderberry flavor. Cherry and elderberry. That is good. I heard this slaps. So Is it? I was about to ask. Does it slap? I think because it tastes like juice. It does? It tastes like almost like... Um... It tastes like those little cherry juice packs you got went to school with. Yeah, like a Capri Sun. Yeah, like you savored. This is 8% pretty decent for a sweet one it is very good guys it is all that bad boy it is. does taste kind of like a pre sun, a capri sun um or like the uh, or uh, like minute made or yeah, dole the minute made type ones. thing it's not overpoweringly sweet though uh speaking of sweet it's brooke not. and i were at cheesecake factory yesterday oh, before we watched it, before we watched the movie <laughs> yeah dude uh, we were really craving it <laughs> and i was i've been craving it for like months and there's one that's so far Literally. away they're so far away from where we live um the one restaurant that's not new right you. <laughs> right first off they give you so much food that place is insane if you guys have ever been to cheesecake factory like also unlimited bread baskets yeah you're full by the time the food gets there yeah, it's impossible it's a mistake um we bought this chicken they literally give you three chicken breasts good god like one per you could order it and then three people could share it because then the sides are huge that works for you yeah um so brooke and i shared it but she had this drink and she got super sick off it it was like really too much no she had like three sips and was like super sick off it and it was like tasted like this almost fuck well let's see what happens oh hopefully (laughs) i have not been kind throws up on first uh live (laughs) or first filmed episode next week episode is delayed (laughs) because we're fucking gone 
Um, awesome. Let's talk about our theater experiences and then um, let's get into Once Upon a Time. But we have a lot of uh, shout outs. Now they're oh. watching. You, everyone watching on YouTube is going to be basically new. Like and subscribe. Because, we can actually say that now. Yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, uh, welcome to Crawler Family. If you do subscribe, um, you know, we have the podcast on, you know, you'll hear it in the intro anyways, but we have it on Spotify, Apple, Google, Podbean. We have a website. It's all in the description. So go ahead and look there if you want to take us on the go. Um, we've on Instagram, we've had a lot of new people join the Crawler Family. Yeah. So welcome to all those people if you're listening and watching. And we have a lot of shout, shout outs. Um, um uh, Go ahead. Can we just do one correction What's up? from last episode? What did we say? Because we're dumb. What happened? Oh, I... <laughs> okay. Converting into tons is 2,000 pounds. No, I legitimately thought it was 1,000 pounds. I thought so, too. So, I'm... So, last episode, we said the daisy chain scene from the Hurt Locker. Each one of those things weighed about, like, 90... 92, 92 pounds. 92 pounds. So, it's like... We were like, oh, yeah. it's That's, like, about half a ton. And uh, a ton is 1,000 pounds, not... Uh, or 2,000 pounds, not 1,000. So. Do I look like I'm fucking math magician here? No, that's why we're doing this. That's why we're trying to, you know. We can't do anything but fa- pod. We can't do anything but pod. <laughs> we can't. Let's stop doing math. Normal job. Just... They're like, hey, Sam, can you do this multiplication? I'm also, like. I know, but also I like how only one person told us. And it's a close friend of ours. Yeah, none of you guys <laughs> knew. Yeah, no one knew. Guys, you, so like, you bought it, okay? Our, our smart accountant friend. Rickley. Rickley, sweet, sweet Rickley Rickley always keeps us in check. Yeah, she does. I love her and um, um called us out. So I'm She calls us it. out though. We call her out on her podcast. If you guys want to go listen, it's Let's Be Realistic. Um and that is a good show as well. Yeah. But good support. We always support each other and Much she love. called us out that it's 2000 and I was like googling it and I was like whatever dude I don't give a shit anymore as soon as she uh, said it I was like oh, oh, but no hard, one right? said anything so I don't know if no one caught it or if no one cared or whatever no it was no one wants that love dude no one wants that heat that smoke <laughs> that smoke um, alright okay. we got some good shout outs here D- let's go with Nicole's first on the Jakey, vid- yeah, Jakey it's, Instagram post it's just the usual Jakey um, the other one's relevant to the episode that we're doing today so um, we posted a picture on Instagram about it's like a we, we pop quizzed. Yeah, pop a little quiz, a little yeah. quiz. I, we saw that we had a lot of new people. Yes. So I was like, let's just see where they're at on their Jakey yeah. knowledge. Do they know our Jakey love? If you're joining Film Crawl, you know you gotta love Jakey. It, it's like, like a, it's like a stand. Yeah. All the like, all the subscribers leaving right now. <laughs> 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 Zero. <laughs> Homer Simpson meme. Um, yeah. So we posted a clip, or not a clip, a picture, a screenshot. A grab. <laughs> Jeez, every fucking citizen. What's that haircut? What is that haircut called? A fade? Yeah, that's what I rock. The side fade? Uh, mine's a little grown so you need, out, yeah, guys. You need Trust to shave me. It down. And I'm all, usually 100 pounds lighter, but. <laughs> <laughs> He's working for Halloween 2K19. 2K19. Uh, oh, we. I got to fit in the uh, Mysterio outfit. Dude, so. you got to fit into the head helmet? God damn. The fucking fishbowl. Okay, let me just sip this. So, um, we quizzed you guys. And um, I don't know if this was a joke or not. Pretty sure it was a joke. But someone said Bubble Boy. I don't know, man. My friend, I felt like it was a joke. My beautiful friend. I felt like it was a joke. Yeah, I think it's a joke. She's She likes Jakey, too. Like, yeah, she, there's yeah. no way you thought that was Bubble Boy. Um, so that was pretty funny. If you did, you'd come on the show. We'll uh, yeah, we got we to gotta, <laughs> we gotta talk about that. We got to talk. Um, Alex, my dear friend Alex, um, my coworker Alex. Sweet really, dude, sweet really dude. Really cool dude. Um, he wants to be on the pod in the future. So he was the first to get it, by the way. First to get it. Um, but also, I mean, this one is not that easy. It could have been Jarhead Jakey. It's a hard one. Yeah, I picked a it, hard one. It could have been any. You know what Jakey. it calls it is the coat. The coat. The jacket. He wears that the, the whole. Yeah, he wears it the whole movie. So Alex um, on Instagram. I think his last name is Toshi. A.S. Toshi. Um, guest prisoners. And that was that was it. One of my favorites. That was it. Um, also, um, ju- I think just behind him, not quite first, uh, Jeffrey on Instagram, guest prisoners too. Jeffrey, so. yep, 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 yep. We're looking out. So shout we out see to you. those we guys. See you. you guys are doing great out there. On the, whoever answered Bubble Boy, come on. <laughs> I don't know about that though. Bubble about Boy's that. my favorite Jakey. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that. <laughs> uh, and then in our in our 
ways you know film crawl we never know what movie we're doing until last it's all minute, last minute. Yeah. and um i was like well nicole had picked like the last two the last two like the last, last five three? i don't know <laughs> Dude, i was on. just going the flow i was I like come on hey, sam it's your turn I <laughs> yeah she's like you. you gotta fucking pick bro and i was like okay <laughs> Uh, and I was like, I really want to do Hollywood, and it's been a week since it's been out. Right. So you know, by the time this episode comes out, it will be like over two, two weeks. weeks yeah. yeah, I couldn't so, use my free pass because it hadn't been out for two weeks yet. What? I have what a free is that Harkin- for? I have a free Harkins pass. Oh, and then you have to wait. Yeah, it, it, it can't be a new stupid. release. It has to be like two weeks out. Harkins, come call me. And let's figure that out. But if you want to sponsor, forget <laughs> I said that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll figure it out though. <laughs> you know, call my assistant. Um, <laughs> Podger fan. Pa- Padre? Padre? Padre fan. Padre fan. My friend. Hello. From California, Joel. <laughs> he, How you doing? Um, I, well, first, I'm going to message him after this because I, Padre fan, I feel like because you like the decipher. Padres. I know you like the Padres and I assume you like the Chargers, but no, you like Green Bay. I've seen you post a lot about Green Bay, so I don't know what oh, that comes Packers. from. Oh, Packers. So, Padre. Packer? What? No. I don't know. It's P-A-D-G-E-R fan. Um, oh he's a huge Padre fan. I know that. Okay. Yeah. Well, and, we were trying to like decipher. And I was like, oh, San Diego Chargers. They used to be there. Um, oh, you kept it clipped in. I just noticed that. Yeah, bro. I'm holding it I right know. now. Guys, I'm, like, we're tired. About. We're so tired of hunching over. But now that you're on camera, like we're on camera, we got to fucking. But plus we got to worry about double chin if we were like talking down. So I don't want to do that. I don't <laughs> want to worry about chin. that. I Dude, I'm so that. fleshed out. The lighting's so bad. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Here we go. Shout out. I posted um, on Instagram. So if you guys don't know, we both run the Instagram. Yeah. We run all like the social medias together kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's kind of, you'll see, you'll kind of tell which ones are Nicole's and which ones are mine. True. Um, because mine are kind of like lazy and hers are really artistic <laughs> and pretty and, and they have like cool comments and stuff. I write a lot. Yeah. That's the difference. I well, write you, a lot. The and captions write, are like, fun little... and yeah. and I'm just kind of like, eh. <laughs> get it out there get that content <laughs> um so he had said uh, i posted it was a picture of uh the poster Braddy, upon a time Braddy and Leo. yeah and i said our next episode is gonna be tuesday um and he and i said if you guys saw it let us know what you think in the comments it will shout you out and he said i really enjoyed it um it kind of felt the least tarantino of all these films and i really want to talk about that true. point this is true uh while still maintaining some of the quirkiness you're used to seeing him do whole point, cast dude. did really well um i really enjoyed brad pitt's performance hallelujah we'll brad. talk about that too uh, ending was great and very fun however so many people hyped it up as it's such an insane final 45 minutes that i think i went into it expecting too much not that i didn't like it i think i was just led to expect more but however overall the film was a lot of fun, and it was fun to see QT. Nicknaming him <laughs> QT, like my, my gosh, boy, my, my dude, guy. he's uh, on the take, our level. <laughs> take on that era of Hollywood. Um, <laughs> that's awesome, uh, Joel. I have a lot to agree, and and there's one thing I disagree in that statement. He put a whole ass review. He in is a amazing. Little, yeah, he, he's, that was so he good. He loves Chris Nolan, and okay. he works at Warner Bros. So no. he oh, wants wow. to get us out to nice. LA. He wants nice. us to go out there and we can go hang out. We got free passes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Jeffrey Bold, uh, he answered as well. He said, I thought the film was fantastic. I had replied and I said, hey, if you want a shout out, let us know like what you liked specifically. Just like we didn't get a reply there, but he thought it was fantastic. Now, um, overall, that. I'm going to check my tomato meter. Oh, here he goes. This is the tomato meter. It is dropping rapidly, folks. It I don't is. know why. I did see that. Uh, um, critic or audience? Audience dropping rapidly. I saw it dropped 66% or something. What? Like, uh, maybe that was a different like statistic. Like, it was at like, 66? Or? No, 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 no. Like, um, I think it was probably budget, mm. budget-wise. but Because I didn't read the, well, the I just budget, saw headline. The budget was 90 mil. That's... Well, it it's not a, too much. Takes a lot to hire, hire I mean, Brad and Leo. I mean, you, as look your at, you look at Lion King budget was two hundred and sixty, but that was know. all CGI. I know, but they always say it's cheaper to use computers. Yeah, that's true. So I don't know what the fuck it is. Who knows? Because um, they toma- don't pay the tomato shit. meter. Tomato meter is at eighty five. Um, that's that's, that's still not bad though. <sighs> That's B plus. That's pretty bad, bro. That's not that bad. That's pretty bad. I don't. I guess I'm not used to tomato meter because that's not that bad. You gotta want to have that certified tomato up in the 90s. Uh, (laughs) Toy Story 4, Rogan in 97. So there's a comparison for you, I guess. 
Oh. Audience score Those 71, are bot bro. It's kind of mixed out it's there. It's going down a lot. I looked, it was eight, it was at like 75 and now it's And it's 71. probably because like this is his penultimate film. Like he's confirmed. This is his second to last. Yeah, he's going to do 10 yeah. and dip. And, but it it Good. wasn't like Pager fan said, it wasn't his like it didn't feel very Tarantino-y. We'll get more in depth into that. I'm going to disagree there right now. Oh, we're going but, there. But let's go into what okay. we liked first. Okay. Um, fuck. I got to find my notes. There it is. Sorry. Um, we already did the shout outs. Now, what I liked, Brad Pitt, best character oh in the whole movie. I'm Team Leo. Um, I'm what? Team Le- yeah, I'm you, Team Leo you're this me round. did better? Yeah. Performance wise? Yeah. One really no nope. well, two really team, good scenes team leo that were built like they were like teed up for him and they were like hit a home run brother <laughs> like i've teed it up for you you gotta hit this scene they get, they literally just say like leo do your thing in the <laughs> script <laughs> he's just like he goes ham okay you no, know it. you know how we love jakey yes another good psycho is leo leo has some good not as good as jakey re- not as good but, but really good aggressive on screen yeah like you could tell like if you piss him off yeah he'll uh, he'd be screaming at you like christian bale on fucking terminator set (laughs) but he would scream at you actor leo real leo wouldn't do that okay i don't think real leo would do that real leo loves the earth you know i get mimosas with him on the weekends. he loves the earth yeah he's he's been calling (laughs) he does love the earth i love that movement no we we've Um, we've had to calm him down a little bit but but he he loves Leo. (laughs) (laughs) brad pitt best character in the whole movie um Best, okay. uh, I wouldn't say best story, but he's he is a really good character. Yeah, because there's three and, main storylines in this. Don't tell me Margot's a main story. Dude. Sharon Tate is a huge storyline in this. <sighs> All right, here we go. Too. Battle. Pod's done. <laughs> That's This is the end. You're witnessing um, it. Brad's performance was, I think, overall better. Leo did, like I said, they set Leo up for success. Was it an Oscar grab? No. I don't think this is even going to be nominated. You you don't think? I don't think. I'm betting you right now. This, for what? It's live Best on video pic- now. For what? Best picture? Best actor. You're, you're saying I'm Leo gonna, or Brad are going to get nominated? I'm saying Leo's going to get Best Actor. Brad's going to get Best Supporting Actor. No. And then this Brad, picture, Best Directing. Out of all of it, Brad will get Best Supporting Actor. Leo won't even get nominated. Yeah. No. Okay. I, I, I can see that. I, I can go with you there. But that's the only thing it's going to be nominated. Best for. Screenplay. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I'll give it two nominations. Screenplay and Supporting Actor. Okay. But, I don't see Best Picture. You're right. I don't, yeah, I don't see Best all. Picture. Not at all. Not even yeah, yeah, close. Yeah. But I mean, Hurt Locker you know. won Best Picture. So but, whoa, anything's possible. Man. Call back. <laughs> anything is possible Ugh. but also also the oscars are like you never fucking know it's like his la his om- you know he's almost over the- and the next one's probably going to be star trek so they're like we got to give it to him now wait he's doing star trek it's room he really wants to do a star trek film that might be his 10th film with who i fuck if i know dude i need to look into it but have you seen death proof by him i literally just watched that a few nights it's ago. ridiculous right it, it it's my favorite really it's like top three we need to watch it because I, I showed brooke the car crash scene yeah. and she couldn't even watch that. it's real rough it's real rough it's a great scene dude great shit i'm glad you brought that movie up yeah i yeah. liked it a lot and i forgot it was kurt russell yes everyone a in this creep film, a yeah. certified creep everyone in this film has worked on a tarantino film yeah literally. and uh yeah um and then he said the whole cast did well. I really enjoyed Brad's performance. Ending was great and very fun. We're going to get to ending in the next section for me. You're what talking- do you think about the ending? We want to go there now? No. Okay, talk about <laughs> what you like. You were talking it. about what you liked. Um, okay, I like that. Um, let me read here. Man, guys. My man. I think the movie, I want to disagree with the comment on Instagram. I think the movie was Tarantino-esque. Um, okay. It did have the quirkiness, but it reminded me a lot of Pulp Fiction. Really? In in terms of storytelling, in, in terms of, there. here's a plot that's pretty loose-based, okay. and you're just going to watch it. Like, Pulp you're Fiction. You're going to follow it. Pulp Fiction is so loosely based, and it's... in. 
of course it takes place in the future and the yeah. past in certain points you're following all these yeah, characters and you're everywhere just following all these people and you don't really even know people's names really and you're just kind of like going along with yeah. the story and then it kind of comes around and i think it reminded me of that because they were you know you're following three different leads quote mm-hmm. and um you know you just kind of gotta live through it like walk through it with the movie you don't know there's no end goal there's really nothing you know there's no like mission well that's the thing like the the, uh kind of the what this movie is centered around is the murder of sharon tate which we as an audience know hap like we know what happened with how charles manson and his like gang he didn't actually do it but his his, yeah, gang his cronies did. yeah his gang did we as an audience know that it's been 50 years right so people i don't know people who grew up in that time people who are fans of true crime go into this knowing that knowing and like have that, that it, you know in their subconscious and then that feeling throughout the movie like that's how i felt of so like, Ooh, when's it gonna happen what's the how's whole, he gonna do it what's the whole dalton thing then dalton rick, rick dalton rick dalton there so uh rick dalton and cliff booth are fake fake right? yeah okay that's they're not they figured. weren't real in real life. and and i know sharon tate's real and i know yeah. what happened but her friends right. yeah and steve mcqueen like right, right, right. all yeah. those guys were real yeah and um is the whole ending supposed to be a call towards that no do you not know what happened to sharon tate? no she was viciously murdered i know she was killed but like no, I'm saying, was the ending supposed to be, like, pain, like, res- I don't know what well, you want to call that. Well, that's, I mean, I guess we have to talk about that. Like, it's completely different from what happened. So, he, right. in the ending in this movie, he made the killers go to Rick Dalton's house But they really instead. went to Sharon Tate. They really so. went to Sharon Tate's. Which is the original target. Everybody. Which killed is the original there. target. Yeah. But in this movie, they die a very horrific, like, Right. Very death. Kill Bill. Very, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, Inglorious Bastard style, yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, Brooke's like, I want to watch that. I'm like, I don't know if you want to watch that. Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. <laughs> that one's the, the, probably the one she should watch. There's only one thing we can be doing: <laughs> killing Nazis. <laughs> killing Nazis. Um. Mm. Okay. I don't think it was an homage. Okay. I think it was like his dream of like you know it's it is paying respect to her in a sense but like but like hoping like wishing they didn't go to sharon tate's kind of like it's giving the, it's letting the good guys win in some reality right so even though the reality was that they lost exactly if okay. you view it as like an alternate timeline that's his version of that timeline she's fine and okay happy see and like that's lives. that's that's what i knew i knew she died right yeah. and i knew that when he walked up that was him at the house when he walked up right and he's like i'm what looking for wasn't that him uh charles manson no no oh, oh sorry yes i th- I thought you were talking about the ending scene no no, no. The when the guy, the guy no, no. when the guy yes. walks up he's like i'm looking for whoever yeah. I, I know that story like by like i've watched the thing or listened to something about yeah that. that dude i forgot who plays him <laughs> holy shit he does look like him he does look like charles Manson. and he's so they only show charles Just manson once. for 30 seconds that's it. yeah that's it and i thought and then when it all came around at the end i thought that's what was going to happen um yeah going into this i thought you were it was gonna be like a crime drama or like a really? detective movie that's what i, I got didn't from think it any of that but i'm man. a true crime fan and right, i heard but the, that's the everyone... trailers don't show that and you know you read you read the synopsis and it's just like two washed up dudes trying right. to live life in hollywood which i wish the movie was more of that what else did you like i want to get into dislikes we need to do dislikes first. <laughs> My dude, we said one like. We only That's did all one. I have, bro. No. I love the soundtrack. Amazing. Um, it did work. I well. love the feel of the of that era. 69, 70. Okay. You know, Old you Hollywood. Got, you got 69 Mustangs driving around. Oh, yes. Yeah, beautiful favorite. old car. You got the city lights. Um, city. Everything's like on, like, neon. drawing so much power. I'm yeah. like, oh, my God. Oh, we have that shit. Stuff. Um, I love the whole, the whole the whole atmosphere i wish i was in that time to like experience that. yeah there's um, the big scenes. cars fat cars yes caddies ballet that. that would be us yeah right, so that dude. was that was really cool and i love leo and i love brad and i love margot robbie even though she did really nothing i love well, that's what makes bruce it lee the bruce lee scene is one of my favorite scenes who is that the guy who yeah, plays him, Mike yeah. Mo. Mike Mo. Yeah, M O H. He did name. a good job. He did really well. I was like, damn. People are kind of conflicted on that scene. I think, I think he did a you, good job. I think no, no, no. Like uh, he did a good job, but like what 
that scene kind of means to no, Bruce not, Lee's legacy. Right. I'm not a Bruce Lee. Like, Neither am I. You know, I've seen his grave in Seattle, and it's 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 def no. It's like <laughs> what a trans- the fuck? It's a transcending experience. It's transcending. I'm not even oh kidding, dude. God, Him and his son are buried together in Seattle. I forget the cemetery name. That but is it's, ridiculous. I didn't and know. it sounds very touristy, but if you're in Seattle, you need to go there. I mean, it I've was, seen Kennedy's fucking grave. Oh shit, you have. Yeah. Oh beautiful. yeah, you went to Washington. That's right. You take you took some like high quality photos there, dude. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, they was. but. <laughs> I didn't know you could go see iPhone. Bruce Lee's shit. Yes, it's. I'm. Sa- I'm saying it's amazing. Okay, that sounds weird. I think he did great. Um, I love yes. that scene. Yeah, I like a lot of Brad scenes more than Leo, and there's only two Leo scenes that I like. See, I'm, t- I'm team Leo all the way. All right, that's fine. But um, but other than that, like, everything was great. I loved the way. I love the way it was shot, and it, I think of it as a. Um, well, it's shot very Tarantino y. But. As in, like, very conversational. Yeah. And, like, conversational quirkiness. And... A lot. Of, there was a lot of foot tracking shots. He has um, a foot fetish, dude. He, feet, confirmed. Feet on window. Confirmed. confirmed. Death proof? Have, if you, we just yeah, talked about death yeah, proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death proof. He 100%. does have a foot fetish. Um, Even Kill Bill. Like, there's some feet in there. A lot of ass shots in it, too. He, he likes ass, too. I mean. Whatever. If I can get to the level where I show my fetishes <laughs> on film and make money, I made it, dude. <laughs> like, when you don't give a shit and you can just exactly. do whatever You're you like, want. All right, well, I'm a freak. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. The one, the one shot of the the hippie girl getting in Brad's car. In it was car. like just literal cheeks on screen. <laughs> I was in like, the corner. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, what is going on? It was, uh, it's, dude. It's I didn't tell you. I, it's very I, intimate. I sit. I sat third row. Yeah, Sam did not. Terrible, have <laughs> terrible viewing angles. <laughs> he showed me a snap, and I said, "Why are you that close to this?" We screen? sat third row, dude. We went, and so I so you just, literally saw all, all ass. Yeah, <laughs> I only saw cheeks. So if I was nor if I was in the normal seat, I don't know what I would have saw. If it, what it would have looked, you like. would have seen a very personal, okay, tracking not tracking shot, but like I have a different wide perspective angle because shot. of I know this. You do. Everyone needs to point and remember no, that do. because I have a way different perspective. I had a nice railing seat me and my friend <laughs> the yeah. railing seats are nice they are um if, a shit in, theater if anyone is in arizona they know Harkins. assigned seating is the way to go um uh, no we had assigned seating but the thing is um i bought it at the door because i figured eh it's no been one, out for a week yeah no one's gonna be there and the girl's like these are the only ones that are available i'm like are you fucking kidding and the next showing wasn't like an hour and a half away and you had to see yeah it. Like, we and had i was to see like it. dude come on and then and then i walk we were like thanks for taking a hit we were like five minutes er, early five Mm. minutes early you know Mm -hmm. and there was no one in there i was like this theater is not full but she said it was she said oh i go up to my window and it's like one of the shittier theaters here in arizona so i'm not gonna say which one it is but like well call them out no (laughs) i'm expecting to like (laughs) i'm expecting it to be like super because this is not their fault i'm expecting it's a friday night you know i'm like it's me and my my friends i'm like okay it's gonna be super crowded i got there like 45 minutes early because i have anxiety about not seeing previews and i go up and i'm like oh how full is the uh once upon a time in hollywood for 7 30 and he's like one percent <laughs> one that's percent. the best though i know he's like, like you, you, just one percent you have the biggest sigh of relief when they say that you're like how exactly. full is it and they're like 12 percent. oh thank god <laughs> exactly there's there's that still is. a middle seat somewhere <laughs> I know it. Oh, okay. There's hope of a backseat. <laughs> thank God. But I got railing. So yeah, you're like, I know it. I know it. I know it. Um, oh my God. So, um, that I, I like all that stuff. What, what else do you like? I liked the, I don't want to say homage. Homage is the wrong word. I, I mean, maybe respect. The respect, the love letter, I like whatever you want to call it. Oh, you know what? I have the word. I like the tenderness with which he, shot um the scene with sharon tate in the movie theater watching her own movie like you really see a vulnerable you don't just see a girl like you know she's gonna die horrifically like in real life she did right but you see this vulnerable artist like we're all artists Mm -hmm. if that's your career path i guess like you know writing fucking painting directing acting podcasting (laughs) it's a fucking art bro youtube yeah it's like you know i don't know it felt really like personal right and the same with the bruce lee scene it really felt like yeah you're seeing a cocky confident you know jerk knows maybe, what he is though but he had to be that yeah. in order to survive survive in this world 
um and I, I just think he shot those really well and he knew tarantino's smart he knows that we know what happened and he knows that we're kind of we kind of killed this age of hollywood there, there's a phase every decade or so right, right right that it's just over and that some people aren't necessary anymore. well yeah things have completely changed yeah from sets from from to style from, like from la in general yeah we've talked um, about it here like horror movies like yeah. they're completely different wow. which it, for a good thing though for like yeah. a good reason but but you know it's, it's crazy from la in general i mean mm. you look at atlanta atlanta is blowing up because it's cheaper and yeah. there's more productions companies out there and you know look at every film credits Georgia Peach is yeah. gonna be on that, and and that and Peta. Yeah, things are be fucking in there. <laughs> things are completely changed. Yeah. Um, well, westerns are no nothing. It's our idea of a what? Like this is a to, to me was a buddy western, right, 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 with you know a crime crime centered in it, right. But this whole movie, but in those scenes specifically, really felt personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we it, it's nostalgic for those moments of when you could have when you could do that you can't do that anymore you know if yeah, we were famous yeah. and we went to see a movie everyone we, we couldn't enjoy the movie right and i really love that part with yeah. Sean tate because it felt real in that time right like um, you want to go see how the no audience way. reacts to your movie like you're like I would oh, watch sh- it. exactly um but i hear a lot of actors don't don't watch most of their movies i but mean that's because they live in the now like right that's now true i you mean know? i hate watching i'm gonna hate watching this me too um <laughs> I've gotten a lot better at it though. But this honestly feels a lot better than I thought it would. I said, Sam, do not release this. <laughs> I really did. She said, turn the camera off. <laughs> right when I turned it on, she said, Jenna. No, he didn't um, even turn it on. He set it up and I was like, turn it off. <laughs> turn it off. No, we're, we uh, wanted to bring that, but. That element. Yeah. Um, um, I, I agree. But, I agree with you. And then I'm Team Leo. Like, y- you have a point to where you I can f- give Leo anything and he'll knock it out of the park. So it, it was easy for him. But in some cases, that's harder to do. If you're, if it's easy for you, he you can easily have been it. like lazy and been like, all he right, has to nail you know, like I'm going to, I'm going to do well and whatever. You really had to feel, he, right. you could tell that he likes working with Tarantino and. Yeah. I mean, everyone he, here worked with him. And it's like almost as if, I don't think he feels like this personally, but it's like, oh, okay, this is like my career. He's been in Hollywood for 20, 30 Shit. years. Nicole is called Leo out. Uh, Leo, don't at me. Don't at Leo. me. Okay, I'll call you later. I'll call you let's later. Let's get him on the show. We'll, we'll, we'll see have what dinner. He, let's see what Nicole Nolan says when he's on you. the show. No one wants you. I promise, let's, LD. Let's, I promise. Let's see what Nicole says when he's on the show. She's like, oh, you're so good. Shit, you they're going to show this clip on like our interview, <laughs> and I, you're just going to see me like... <laughs> sweating ellen so what do you what do you think about that you know that's some big allegations don't bring ellen into this dude (laughs) don't um no i agree with you i think uh it was funny that brad and leo were the mains here because they are older and this is their first time working together yes yeah yeah ever huh dude i just looked at the poster of (laughs) mr and mrs smith Oh God! When Brad and Jolie were dating, or were they married? Whatever they were, he was married to somebody else. It uh, was the whole thing. But that was a good movie, man. Because of Jolie's ass. <laughs> no, because Brad is Brad's a beautiful hunk. You know what? So I don't usually. I don't like Brad Pitt that much. Oh, really? I don't like. I mean, I I think he's a fine actor. I I liked Seven. I Seven's one of my favorite movies. Seven. Um, and Glorious Benjamin backwards. Butner. Yeah, and Glorious Bastards was good. Did I say um, backwards? Bastards. I think you did say backwards. Guys, <laughs> this is back shot. guys if you want Delirium <laughs> Red, get get at it. This is our cigarette ad. <laughs> we <have> cigarette ad. <laughs> this tastes like shit. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it um, doesn't. It's really good. No, I, I agree. Actually, I kind of agree with you. He's, for me, uh, I know there's a lot of Brad lovers out there. I mean, there's everyone loves everyone, right? Yeah. Um. For me, he's kind of just under radar. Like I watch Fury, um, oh, yeah, I watch did. I watch Inglorious Bastards, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, like all these movies, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's Brad Pitt. But he's I'm not, not over the top. Yeah, like Leo yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Leo yeah. does a lot of like screaming, and <laughs> we love those screamers and and that kind of <laughs> stuff. But um, Brad is very calm, and he he's kind of like that in real life. Like I think I, so. Yeah. I watched some interviews about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and he's just kind of like he literally is just sitting there, like he looked like Cliff Booth out there. Cool, yeah. Like that would be him. So oh, I'm cool. Because um, he's like, you know, I made I made my dent here in Hollywood. Yeah. Like, what the fuck else do I need to do? He know, and I think it's funny that the this movie exists because of the story, and 
so I think when they brought it to the board, they were like, "We want. I want to pay respect to '60s, '70s Hollywood for sure. I want to talk about Sharon Tate, but old that would make like a weird movie. So we should talk about like these two old dudes that are like at the end of their time." I think that's how it was like brought. My to dude, the board. were you in the boardroom when that happened? I was actually. <laughs> that's why. That's why I know all this information. Because you sound really intimate right now. Yeah, just like you yeah. know, here's the here's a this here's Brad, is... here's Leo. Uh, dude, we need a whiteboard. <laughs> I want a whiteboard so bad. Hey, change your hands. Let's get that <laughs> set up. Put it up. You'll thank us later. <laughs> Promise. Um, but I think that's kind of what it where it was going. Because, but I really wanted the movie to just be more. Of Brad and Leo. Okay, let's and, go into so yeah. we're going to dislikes right now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, what I dislike, let me load my phone up. <laughs> here, um, we go, here we fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, here we go again. Um there's like a weird cuts, and I think Tarantino does okay, this on you. purpose. And um there was one okay, everyone's thinking of a shot I know you're thinking of. The cuts when he's talking to the cowboy, uh, the cowboy Timothy who, Oliphant. Yeah, who who who's he playing? Madrid, Ma- Madrid. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Madrid. Yeah, I think it's his he's name. He's playing Johnny Madrid. This is on purpose. Those cuts are on purpose. Because I'm like not death-proof. talking about. Yes, those cuts. I know. Yeah, right. Um, okay, that's I'm what not you're talking saying. about this. So I want to scratch that out the board because okay, I know everyone's back off, like, oh, haters. Sam, that's what we're saying. Fucking delete your comment right now. <laughs> take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Delete the episode. Put Sam, it off. Sam, that was on purpose. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, okay. I'm glad you. Took and it I think the there's another one where he's in the trailer. And tell oh. me, is this on purpose or not? Okay. I think it's not, but he's he's on the trailer. He's like, because he's drunk as fuck. This is me showing up to set, like drunk no, as hell. You like disparaging <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Like throwing up, like on yeah, set, like hungover as fuck. <laughs> like fuck, what are my lines? What are my lines again? I love that scene. Yes, yeah, so good. And I, th- you know, I wasn't in that time, obviously, but I think that's like the whole point of that scene you is. Been I famous. think I think that was like a lot of people would do that, and I like, think like showed up like up. fucked up and like, Smoke, like yeah, and like, um, but there's a scene where he's in the trailer with Sam, who's the director guy. Oh, and, okay. and his hair's all like wet and <gasps> hanging, and then the next scene it's all clean and shit. I hate when movies do that, and I that's not on purpose. I think that was messed up. No, it, it was on purpose. There's no way, no way that he it was didn't real. Notice that I, I don't know why it happened. It was perfect hair. It wasn't that I Leo know, just. It I wasn't know. that Leo just like combed it back. It was like in place. I know. Like they shot that part before they shot him his face in the water. If it was on purpose, it felt really weird to me. It felt weird. It, it, I was I noticed it cuz it was so blatant. There's other movies that do this that like it's things in the background that yeah. you don't notice, but like blip the, like, like a Leo's blip. fucking face, like his main, you know, everything. I noticed it right Dude, away. Dude, it's not it, it's on purpose. It has to be. Whatever. There's no way they missed that. That threw me out. I just wrote it here because I was like Threw me out. I'm out. Back up. <laughs> Stan, Bye. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, editing I dislike too. So that was you hate we're the on the editing? same. I thought it it was really what did I write here? Um oh I like a little fact, it the editing was rushed to make it to cans. Because oh. he wanted to showcase it at Cannes, so it was rushed and it Nicole shows. Nicole was in the board meeting. <laughs> oh, fuck, I got him on uh, speed dial. I wasn't like, in the board meeting. Nicole was in I the I do board my meeting. research, bro. The one time I do my research, it's like one <laughs> half of a sheet and a notebook. I said, hey, we're going to be on YouTube next episode. And she's like, I got to get a paper out. I got it. I got it. <laughs> no, uh, but I like not even just take those aside of like the quick cuts because those are on purpose those were those were on purpose and i had you know and this is because i watched death proof it was very b movie grindhouse you know very like do 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 you know old old film um but like Proof had that grain over exactly right like meant to feel i think this movie too as all of tarantino movies should be watched um in what the 35 millimeter like you should watch 70 it in raw form yeah something like that um where you, you there's only select theaters in your hometown i don't gotcha. know where you are but here you, you can watch it um what was i saying oh yeah well just the editing so the cuts to and from dalton and booth and tate like it didn't feel refined right and it didn't feel clean and it bothered me because he should know better like right, he's right, done right. he's done nine of these now and it should should be up up there so you know, and, and a lot of the movies are are really well done that he's done. Right. 
And not to say it ruined I, the movie. It was just I like think, I noticed you know, it. You get so high up. You get so well known. You know, get Django was one of Django's one of my favorite. I think that's okay. my personal opinion. Okay. Uh, I, Do so, we got to do a list? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, maybe. But I haven't seen Jackie Brown. and I haven't either. Um, but so I feel maybe, like that would be top three for me. We should watch that. Okay. So we should do that on pod. Comment, Alex actually wants to do that one. Comment or reach out on social media if you guys want us to do Jackie Brown. Let's but, Or see a Tarantino marathon for our Patreons. Dude, Tarantino marathon... Patreon would be content. depressing. By the way, we don't have a Patreon yet. But yeah, sorry, sorry. It's just ideas <laughs> blooming in but here. It's like coming I'm, soon. I'm vibing. It's coming. I'm vibing. I'm feeling it. Um, if you guys feel like supporting, you know. Let us know. You How know, much would you, know, you drop? You know, would you drop 10? You know, our top tier is going to be 3000 a month. So, you know, I think that should be doable by everyone. Keep a lookout. <laughs> yes, please. Um, no, I think I, I agree with you. I, okay. It felt kind of weird. Um, I do love Django. That I think I like that more because that's like the one. Well, Kill Bill too because they have like actual like linear stories. Kill Bill's my favorite. Maybe maybe because I well Kill Bill's not really linear, but um there there's more like an overarching goal. Right? Yes, and you the, know and, the end game. Yeah, and these and you movies know how to get there. Yeah, and these movies are kind of like these movies are fun. I fucking love Pulp Fiction because it, but I love Pulp Fiction because of the dynamics on screen, and I love the dynamic between Brad and Leo. However. You want more of that. I, yeah, I want more Brad and Leo. I, you know, I get it. Sharon Tate, I get it. She died. I get it that sh- this is part of that. But you're not going to make her more of a character. It's almost going to be, it's almost like a, like a non dialogued side story yeah. that, that to me feels kind of weak. And, you don't think Margot's performance was good? I think Margot does great. Okay. And it's hard to do something like that without yeah. having dialogue or not showing a lot of, you know, her voices express a lot of feelings. Yeah. And so she has to do all that in like her walking and her her facial expressions. Yeah. yeah. So uh, she thinks she did great. But at the same time, it's like, what is really the point here is that I know what he's doing. He's trying to give it to Sharon Tate, right? Give that respect. He's trying to make her live on film in a way that she wasn't allowed to right yeah i i agree with you i just feel like it could have been different and maybe i'll i'll talk about that in my changes that i would make okay um but that part were there i would rather have had more of brad and leo fucking get rid of kurt russell voiceover please narration oh you hate narration what is that did it just feel out of place out of place for the movie it doesn't need to be there that's just my point does it need to be there? I mean, it was setting up tension because it was like, we're all waiting that. for this. We're, we know it's coming. You know, how is it going to come to us? And like, if it had just, if it had just shown the time, it would have been a different feeling. But we don't know it's coming. Yes, you do. Because you know, Sharon Tate's no, dead. No, fuck the Sharon Tate the, shit. What do you know? Then what do you know? Like if, The whole point of the narration was to give us six months of exposition between oh, brad and leo that, the, okay that part I what you other meant, narration were you i thought you were of? talking about the night of the murders the night of did when, they do narration in yes, that part what yeah does it's he like say? when they're talking about sharon tate going to dinner with her friend oh. and then rick dalton and he's like talking about it and like oh she enjoyed again it. i don't think it needs to be there if he's changing the way history like happened it needs to be there okay how about I, how about if I everyone you, knew, I don't how about you. okay how about if everyone knew Sharon Tate's death date yes what was the day it was August eighth the date does they it show. show that it does show that you it would have been a different you feeling I know that's but all you, you, need to do. you don't know her death date I don't give a fuck about Sharon Tate I'm well, sorry if you saw I know but if uh, you saw that date would you have been like oh shit yeah if I saw the date come up and I knew it I would have been like fuck okay I'm if you didn't know it no if I didn't know it yeah I wouldn't know anything I'd be like oh it's August eighth. And but I don't it. need narration because you in my, it, okay, listen, he's doing it as a troll. I'll give like, it in the, tr- I'll give it in the changes. I'll give you what I would have done. Okay. In the changes. Then let's get into the changes. <laughs> no, go, I still go. got more shit. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, really? Hippies need to die. They shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is have, literally. Okay. Rick Dalton. <laughs> this is literally. Hippie. <laughs> <laughs> through the window in your this, robe. This is literally what I wrote. <laughs> hippies need to die. You know, that i Wait, get that part i just want to get to my changes i'm going to my changes Wait, right no, no, no. I'm going to my you changes didn't right want now. that scene with brad at the ranch 
No, I love that scene. Well, then what it's scene amazing. are you talking about? So that, that scene can stay. That scene can be whatever it wants to be. It's Kay. fucking way too long, but that's Tarantino. It's the tension. Um, yeah. It's, he, he, you know, you're yeah. going to have a five minute scene of fucking Brad Pitt walking. You're going to a Tarantino movie. I get that. Yeah, I realize yeah. that that was what I'm going to get. But um, I think it was only there. Listen, it was only there. I'm not here. I'm to, not here. To pay for it was only there to do the last scene. You're lying. I don't think so. <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. Cliff this Booth is a is fake person. Of, this movie We're was based off of that guys. last scene. I the movie is based off the last scene. Exactly. That's the mistake of the movie. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. The changes. I would have loved if the movie was just Braddy and Leo, right? Living their life. Realizing they're old, realizing they're going out, going to Italy. I want to see that. I want to see Italy. Um, doing all these things, but at the same time, he can pay his respects to Sharon Tate by doing little nuances that Quentin would do. On the radio, there's a lot of radio in this movie. Uh-huh. You add news all stories. All the cars at the same yeah. station. You add news stories of the hippie killings. You add these things. So you want after the killings. Well, during because like it's an investigation, right? Okay. So like stuff in between. So you're like, oh yeah, I remember Charles Manson was a thing. He was okay. killing people. Okay. Um, and and then you can make those stories and those things happen. But like including her in it as like a full thing, just kind of takes a lot away from Leo and Brad's performances. And I get what you're saying, <laughs> and I do love her performance. I'm not saying she did bad. I'm just saying like there's not much more you can do with that so when you have such little to do with something but you have way more potential in other things i would have took the potential route i respect that that's a good way to that's just that. all i'm saying she's the ghost of the movie right and okay i i respect you so and then the whole killing things at the end it's fucking fun i guess it's it's you know i like what you said you know making the good guys win yeah. In reality that the bad the bad guys won. Um and I really like that. Uh, he that does that perspective. You know? the good, I yeah, didn't the think good of guys that. win. I didn't think of that. I was kinda like, this is like this is Kill Bill, this is Inglory mm. Bastards, like kind of thing. Yeah. Um but at the same time, you know, um it was only there because of all that. Like Sharon like the Sharon Tate thing like the hippies thing was only there. Like you could have made this movie without that stuff and it would have been a great movie. You could have, but it wouldn't have built the tension. Right. Like but, it would so have what been I'm no saying, high strong edge of your seat, which is what his movies are. So what, adrenaline. what, yeah, what I'm saying is the whole movie was based off this right? little story, right. but Why then, <laughs> yeah, this little story, but then the, uh, this is how we talk normally too. When we're not <laughs> it really is. It really uh, is. And we're like hand smacking. Yeah. yeah it really the, is. This whole movie was based off this little nugget, okay. Sharon Tate. Okay. And then it was exploded into Rick Dalton, Cliff Booth. And they had to like fit it, all in. it in. Yeah. Like, like how goes. do they work yeah. together? Like and, how do and they? And that kind of stuff kind of takes away from it. Um, whereas you could have just been like, yo, Two fake ass fucking dudes living in sixty nine Hollywood, hippie killings. Truly. They, maybe they're not directly involved in the killings, but it's there. You maybe he sees one. That okay. would have been like a funny thing, like hippies running in his neighbor's house. Yeah. Not Sharon Tate's, but right. that would have been disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, like like paying like that that time. It was like to paint that time mm. that were li- that era that they were living in. Yeah. And just like a funny ass movie about these two dudes, like one's an alcoholic, one's a like washed up something. Yeah, but he didn't want it to and be but that's how I would have wanted it. That's um, a good change. But honestly, what it what the product was, I'm not saying was terrible. I'm just saying um a lot of the stuff that was intertwined like what nicole said with editing i think that's where Mm -hmm. my problem is coming out is like okay the editing like oh now we gotta jump to sharon tate for what like i get i get her story but like for what um shit where the movie's about leo and brad fuck dude i'm putting my mic down oh yeah please you're you can leave like you've done your job have a wonderful night thanks like that was sam (laughs) (laughs) thanks crowd um next guest uh (laughs) jakey (laughs) we'll bring out jake jill now (laughs) um Uh, that that was a really long rant but 
you know, one last that's thing. What this is, I'm not saying I hated the movie. I'm just saying that's what I would have made changes for. Um, and what that's what our are, segment? What were you getting into? Um, I during your talk, I just remembered a like that I have. Mm. Um, that so I'm just gonna go back to there I like real going quick. Back. I like yeah, going back. you know, backtrack, backtrack. We're we're still getting this format down. Um, he his comedy and dialogue was top notch this fucking screenplay like i've laughed at tarantino movies before but i literally was laughing out loud yeah yeah, yeah. like at a few different scenes or a few different lines in this movie so fucking good so i want to put that i was there. laughing I, I laughed a lot and i think yeah. um i laughed because of the excitement i saw of these performances yes and like, you're right like you're right. you know you laugh when you see someone doing a good job and like you're right even when leo was doing his serious shit i was like yeah. laughing because i was like God damn, it's so good. Exactly. And, like, holy yeah. shit, he's acting. Like, and then when he he's starts, trying to be a bad actor, yeah. but he's really <laughs> great at acting. Yeah, it's so. It's crazy. Um, that shit was awesome. I love that. Okay. What I would have changed, I kind of feel like it's similar to yours. Okay. But in a different sense, because I didn't mind the centering around the Sharon Tate murders. Okay. Because he grew up in this time and right, that was right, the right. big story That's of that the year, right? biggest thing, right? Well, and hippies are also a huge part of 69, 70s. That yeah, was... Vietnam. They were there, that. yeah. Free love, you know, acid, whatever the fuck. Uh- <laughs> By the way, I, wanna, I don't want to cut you off, but the acid-dipped cigarette... Mm, mm, mm. 25 Brad cents, 50 Pitt, cents? Brad Pitt, dude, has such a good performance. He does. I'm not saying he doesn't. He's like, when he's like, realizes how high yeah. he is. Like- hey. <laughs> I know And then you. Brandy the dog fucking <sighs> MVP. Cute, cute. Okay, go. And fucking Pete. Go. Um I would have made the movie. I would have started the movie the night of her murder. And I would I'm already her- in. I bought a ticket. <laughs> if if we can we get go. that out of the way, Where's I bought a check? ticket. Where's my check? So I wanted it to yeah start with the murder not show it i like definitely okay i'm glad that he didn't do that you know show i that's yeah, what yeah, i thought he was gonna do yeah and like it's just i don't think that would be very respectful but but he does want to kill hippies <sighs> he did vicariously through brad pitt's that's murder that's true that's true great job quentin <laughs> you're living out our dream just kidding don't kill people um yeah no i wanted it to start on there and then have it be in a sense like you said has-beens and them dealing with like this huge star she was in the you know beginnings of her career and she had this great thing going for her right and she's just like gone who the fuck am i like i'm just this bad like who the fuck and if anyone could just fall off the earth what the fuck yeah and it because yeah they really he really made it a point to show rick dalton leo's character as a depressive like manic right person in crisis that we've all been through literally i'm 26 i've been through that crisis like <laughs> fuck like who your, the fuck am i like am i an life, artist exactly i have a crisis like every two months so i'm due for one okay <laughs> um yeah so i think that would have highlighted that more and really elevated that kind of thought process okay. i don't know what the higher um climax would be or like the, the villain i don't know if anything, the villain is the time. Yeah, I don't think you need one in this film. The villain. You know, I I, I might think change. the villain would be themselves. <laughs> yeah, your own personal themselves. thought, y- your um, yeah, self-esteem. That's how I would have done it, but I actually really like that. I think So that's my change. You can still pay the respect to it and, exactly. and go through that. You know, it's a fucking 3-hour movie, 2 and a 45 minutes. Um, it felt and, it and it, it was really long and you know you're, you're getting that with the tarantino movie it's gonna be like default yeah. two hours and 40 minutes like especially with this one though it's his like it's his love child i think he mm-hmm. really wanted to show old la yeah with the drive-ins and the nighttime drives and the hills all that the ranches even the old rundown ranches that yeah. old cowboys used to shoot at um, he so, really wanted to showcase those and he spends like two a two minute driving seat. You just see Brad driving in a car for like two minutes, yeah, three with minutes. With the radio, great soundtrack. Yeah. Um, that whole scene was literally to just give you the, the atmosphere. And hippies. Here's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the time though. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's people, people watching. People would drive, you know, he lives in he lives in Van Nuys. How the, f- and I want to know how long his commute was. That's like an hour and a half, two hours. I feel. 
Jafio? Maybe currently with traffic. <laughs> back then, back you know, then, it you, know you could it hop like on 45 the, minutes. You can hop on the freeway and not have anyone yeah. on the freeway. Um, but you know, I I totally agree with that. I would have I like that better than my change. I wanted I think, it in a way to be flashbacky like pulp fiction Mm -hmm. you know like we're we're getting all these storylines and it's jumping time and you're like oh shit like okay i'm keeping up with it and i see what's going on but like whoa what the fuck like what's happening yeah yeah yeah. like you could still have margot robbie as sharon tate you could still have that movie theater scene but have it be in the past and and just have it like interconnect with all these and like have it grow to a bigger meaning or something yeah or or i wanted it to show her in the movie theater very beginning show the august 8th thing show the hippies about to commit it like start with them in the car planning yeah and then Ooh. and then and then i hate saying this uh-huh. okay but then like leo wakes up and he's listening on the radio <laughs> and you can hear that <laughs> Dude, right no we hate the tv i hate narration. the tv narration but of but the it time. would have worked in this and okay. and he's listening to it and then cliff booth comes picks him up for his day of work and you're like who's this guy picking up leo why can't Leo drive himself? And then you start finding out all those things. And then you, oh, dude, did you hear? God damn, dude. We're fucking. Sign me up. Why on, are bro. we here? Why aren't you paying Have a us good already? Have a good oh, night. Wait, bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> dude. No, I like Right board, write it down. <laughs> uh, that's what I would have done. I like that. Same. Yeah. I, so I'm going to run I with like yours both. and then we can write it up and, okay. and, and, and produce it. Okay. Um, I'll have the draft to you by we'll, Friday. We'll name it Once Upon a Time in Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> once a time once upon a time once a time <laughs> oh, what is that I? beer hitting yeah it is really fucking hitting well that's it man it's time <gasps> we're done it's time to get in the shot section oh my god we're already done if you're new on youtube and uh, to instagram shot section is where nicole and i rate the movie on a series of shots we would take in order to get through it and it's not it's our own personal rating system it's not based off a percentage it's not based of a plus to f yep it's it's, it's out of five thing. shots five is blacked zero is no shots needed beautiful movie yes perfect um, zero per- zero is perfect five is bad just and, if you want to go that you know, way sometimes we throw in little curveballs we're like yo i need two shots and a beer and a chaser <laughs> <laughs> yeah um uh, what do you think you would have had you know we already talked about rotten tomatoes sitting at the 85 71 uh-huh which side okay. do you feel? On my paper right now. Okay. When I wrote these notes down, which was the today. Okay. After I saw the movie last night, I I took mm-hmm. a, I slept on it. I put two. Now what? Talking you, about she it always changing. I know I do. I'm talking about it now and realizing because this movie, like again, I only saw it last night. I know it takes a while, mm-hmm. but it's like. I'm still wrapping my head around it and it's sticking with me. I'm like, mm-hmm. how do I feel about this movie? I know I don't dislike it. I know that you just feel kind of funky. Bad. Yeah. I just you quote, I feel weird. Quote, you texted me. I feel weird. Oh, is that? Oh, I did. Yeah. And I was You're like, right. what the fuck are you talking about? And she's like, oh, the movie. And I was like, oh, yeah. I'm like, I feel <laughs> I was like, real you just weird. text me saying I feel weird. I <laughs> yeah, don't know yeah, what yeah. I'm supposed to like, say. Like, uh, hello. <laughs> um, and I think it's because it's a really personal movie. It's very tender yeah, and like, yeah not gentle but just like fucking it's a love letter and i'm a sucker for love letters oh my god she's fuck you (laughs) shut up so i'm giving it a a one i'm giving it a wow she dropped i I just gotta be buzzed or you raise the score no one yeah yeah you're right you're right yeah so so one shot one shot hey guys let's watch one spot of time hollywood oh i need a shot yes feel good feel good i just need a warm-up you know you get get a little warm you you get a little warm yeah. You you fall in love a little bit more in that Sharon Tate scene. And you're just like, oh, you're just... You're you like, know, oh, wow, giddy. she she actually was a good actress, all this kind of stuff. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't know. Okay. Debatable. Okay. okay. Debatable. Wow, that's a Patreon I know, episode sorry, right there. Shit. Is Sharon Tate real? Cut that. <laughs> or is she at Area 51? Is she real? Good God. Is she at Area 51? Let's storm it. Who's going? <laughs> Fucking who's going? Confirmed aliens. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to say... I'm scared. <laughs> Don't. Don't. <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna say? I think you're gonna say three. Damn. I don't want you to give it a three. Why? You're gonna give it a three. No, I had two and a half. <gasps> That's basically a three. <laughs> Shit. I did two and a halfy or two and a beer. Oh my God. Um, what happened? 
What hap? Dude, you know, you know, perspective's a huge thing, and okay. I had terrible seats. That's okay. one thing. So um, we need a second watch. I need a second watch. And that point five can be knocked off. Yeah, the point five will probably need knocked off. Okay. But again, I a hundred percent agree with Nicole. I don't know how I feel. It's so weird. In a different way, um, probably. Yeah. Like I don't I don't know if I just know that I loved all the performances. Down to the hippies. And Dakota Fanning? Yes. Yeah. Dakota. A squeaky no. <laughs> you need to <laughs> No squeaky. You need to find some other work. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, that rat in the trap. I hated seeing F- that. Are you kidding me? I don't you like seeing took that a point kind of off stuff. for a rat. No, no I didn't. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, if yeah. you kill an animal, like all right, respect um, to the animal. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I think I everyone did great. I think Brad could definitely win supporting actor from that. Okay, we're calling it now. Yeah. Best for, screenplay for sure. Right best supporting down. actor for sure. Best actor, best picture, debatable. 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 I think it only gets the two, but um, uh, I think uh, I need two and a half. I I almost gave it a three. I almost did, but I, but I just don't know how I feel. Um, it was you know in Tarantino s it's long. Yes. But it, this one feels longer than all the others. It does and because there's just shots of people driving. Right, of driving feet, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> right, other shit. Right. so i, I think, don't understand foot fetishes i'm sorry i don't know guys but a respect I, to those who do yeah i mean they make a killing <sighs> off give me that check off dudes that love feet dudes but, and women you know i'm gonna have to put feet in the youtube tags now in my bio foot <laughs> entrepreneur <laughs> get at me um but i think you know two and a half i want to be a little bit warm i want to be a little bit like laid back i would have okay you know to be involved maybe the acid dipped uh cigarette would have paid off that in would this definitely too. help that Dude. would have definitely helped yeah in this. you just lay back on your couch and just <laughs> brad i feel you bro i feel you you had a white face <laughs> <laughs> great great dialogue great shots um a besides plus, plus. besides feet and butts um <laughs> but uh brad and leo killed it sharon tate uh margot robbie Sorry. killed it who Dover does Bruce Lee? I forgot the guy's name. Already. Mike Mo. Mike Mo. Funny ass scene. Mm-hmm. Kurt Russell. Just great to have Kurt. Um, Ayo. So every, the cast is all star, bro. It is. It's all star. You got that A lister. Um, and but is it the best Tarantino movie? No. 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 Hundred percent. It's not his best. Hundred percent. No. I put Django way in front. I put Pulp Fiction you way in front. Put Django in front. I don't. I honestly don't know if I put Hateful Eight in front. Um, <gasps> I don't. I don't. Eight, Hateful Eight is my last. Place. Yeah, I think Hateful Eight and this would kind of ride alongside each other. Fuck. That's kind we'll of. Post, let's post our list later. But Kill Bills up there. But yeah. I, well, we I can't mean, do it without Jackie Brown. It's de- yeah, but. we need to watch Jackie Brown. We'll yeah. probably do that soon. But I, it's yeah. definitely uh, it's definitely one of the weaker ones, and, th- and that's okay. But that doesn't mean you've got to, you know, critics, you got to go down and murder him. No. He's not going to make the best movies all the time. But He's, even th- saying that it's not his best movie out of his fucking is, filmography is a, already an accomplishment. Good movie. Right, yeah, right, right, it's right. a good movie. Right. It's already an accomplishment. So yeah, to be able to say it, that is hard. It's a good movie and um two and a half isn't bad. I you know, maybe I or maybe I want a little bit more. Maybe I want to be a little bit more drunk on this movie. I don't know. Hey, I'm feeling this beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like We're gonna call Nicole and Uber after Wrap this. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh that's it. That's <gasps> it guys. The first video film curl pod it felt good. Uh, felt good. I'm gonna tell you that. It if you guys are fine. listening on the road right now, make sure you just go uh, to mm-hmm. YouTube when you get to your destination and and look us up. Get on that hotel Wi-Fi. <laughs> immediately go to Film Crawl. Subscribe. And subscribe. Uh, there's like nothing. There's no art on the YouTube. It's so <laughs> bad, guys. Uh, We're working on it. There's we, a few surprises. Yeah, coming down the drain. There's some new <laughs> logos. The there's, a, the pipeline. there's some new logos coming here, guys. They look pretty fresh. Um, but we are that. we're just in the works of that. So I didn't want to put like weird shit up and then switch it and you know <laughs> all that shit. So um, also we're just gonna put emojis over our faces and bodies in this video. Yeah. So so I'm thinking. Just uh, <laughs> I'm thinking the Mysterio helmet. Yeah, Mysterio emoji. helmet, but uh, you know Brad Pitt's body. I'll be like Electra. Dude, Brad Pitt's something. got a body, bro. He's he does zaddy. got a body. You, you know what? He took shirt off, and I was like, I gotta leave, guys. Guys, those scars, I'm into them. 
I, <laughs> I think those were just showing because he was a stuntman, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. But, like, he's also a war veteran. He was a war veteran in the movie. In the, oh, okay. I was Sorry, like, wait. not yet. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> you literally was, was like, like, your mind was... I was like, what war did he serve in? <laughs> Oh my Bro, god. Bro, I was torn back there. Okay. You really were. Yeah. I get that. So he comes from I love that he killed his wife. Fucking praise. He did you don't know. She that, was a though. bitch though. You don't know that. Whatever. What I saw from her, kill her. Dude, that when he's in his goggles and the beer spray comes up, <laughs> us us on pod every day, honestly. <laughs> Whatever. Roll. Roll the film. Yeah. She's just talking shit on him. <laughs> Has harpoon in hand, <laughs> like harpoon in his lap, <laughs> literally pointed. <laughs> it just oh ends. The scene God. just ends. It's a rewatch for me. I got to rewatch it. Is, it. it is. But um, let us know what you guys thought in the comments below on YouTube and on social media. If you guys are listening, uh, wherever you listen to your podcasts, um, and we will definitely make our best uh, attempt to reply. I mean, we reply to like everyone so far. We do, but YouTube's a new game for us. So I don't yeah, know. I mean, if comments are coming in, we'll reply. Um, I got time somewhere. As soon as I see a ne- negative comment, I'm going to disable all comments. <laughs> <laughs> negative I'm kidding, negative I'm comment comes in. This video has disabled comments. Pod's over. I'm um, going to call Sam and be like, I'm done. You've got to find someone new. Uh, again, the video is going to, you know, maybe next time you see us somewhere else, maybe down the line you see us somewhere else. Just bear with this, guys, true, until true. we get like a permanent setup. Um, 2020, our year. 2020, year of the rat, baby. Yeah, it's Sam's year. If you're a year of the rat, Look comment at, below. You're looking at your zodiac. I'm proud of you. I'm a dude. Very I'm, astrology you know, centric. You know, based. year of the rat. I'm a chicken. That's better than a rat. rat? Well, rats let's like be low real, key. It's harsh, year of the bro. cock, but I'm gonna say Is chicken. Is it really? Yeah. They say that. Yes. Have you seen that uh, Japanese meme or Chinese where she says coke, but it says cock? No. <laughs> You've you never seen that. Sense me. <laughs> I've never, I literally never she's seen She's like it. learning or she's like presenting English and she's like, I want cock, but it's supposed to say cock. Coke. Coke. I don't know, guys. This is our normal Coke or Pepsi. Comment below. <laughs> coke all day. <laughs> Fuck coke. Pepsi. There really is a taste difference. There's a huge taste difference. Taste the happiness. Because Pepsi uses actual safe sweeteners and Coke is still using Here cocaine. Here we go. You drink Diet Coke. Delish. <laughs> gross i hate diet anything drink diet coke if you want a bod like this all right guys we're gonna <laughs> i was just gonna say something we're like gonna that. Like, you fucking that's asshole why i clearly don't like diet anything <laughs> like whatever dude diet is is worse for you actually it is i don't Cancer. know where this podcast goes at the end it's fun we just do it comment below if you like it <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for uh listening thank and you. thank you for all the follows and um continue to reach out and we'll definitely be reaching back out. So yes, we love we doing appreciate this. appreciate it. Um, definitely, you know, we want some suggestions. What do they want to listen to? I, we really do. Or, or like, what do they want to see? Be involved. Yeah. Um, because what? we... Old, new, we don't care. Our list right now is mainly shit we've already seen. Literally. And I would like to maybe watch some, like, indie films or maybe... Yeah, like, this dude's over here, Black Hawk Down, and I'm like, I don't want to fucking watch Black Hawk Down. Black Hawk Down's a great movie, guys. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, okay, we're going to keep that on the list. <laughs> But uh, definitely reach out to us and we will uh, get back to you. So thank you so much for listening. um, And we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. Bye.